Our stories are old stories. Our stories are new stories. Our stories are God's stories told in bodies and time. Our stories are old stories. Our stories are new stories. Our stories are God's stories told in bodies and time. Our stories are old stories. Our stories are new stories. Our stories are God's stories told in bodies and time. Good evening. Our next story of salvation comes from Isaiah 61. For hundreds of years, the Israelites had lived in their promised land. Jerusalem had become their glorious capital, and the temple that was at the heart of the city was the place where they believed God literally dwelt among them. But in the year 589 BCE, the Babylonian Empire conquered Jerusalem demolished the city, and destroyed the temple. This experience called into question everything the Israelites had come to believe about a good and loving God and about their status as God's chosen people. Now, our experience today might not be quite as dramatic as that, but maybe the metaphor of exile does capture something of how we've experienced this time of pandemic. And maybe we found ourselves asking questions like those ancient Israelites did about God's goodness and loving kindness. Decades after the Babylonians destroyed Jerusalem, Isaiah speaks these words of comfort into this people's experience of devastation and destruction and despair. Hear these words from Isaiah chapter 61, verses 1 through 4 and 9 through 11. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, to display God's glory. They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. Their descendants shall be known among the nations, and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge that they are a people whom the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exalt in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decks himself with a garland and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Sacred seamstress, you adorn us with flowers and clothe us in garments of joy. 
anoint us with your power that we might fashion the world in jewels of freedom, release, and life. Amen.